Let's see, where do I want to begin? I guess I can start out by saying after we loaded up the dirt bikes yesterday, I ended up going to my cousin's 50th birthday party. It, it was fun. Did a little bit of dancing. Watched some fireworks. That was my cousin Kyle's drone. That wasn't my Mavic. He gave me the footage. He wanted me to use it. Kyle, thank you very much. It made it into the vlog. I hope you're happy. How does this thing work? Guess that's it. So when you turn 50 years old, it's not surprising if you have fireworks at your party. It is something to celebrate. So Kyle found it appropriate to pull out the drone when they were shooting off the fireworks. And then, unfortunately, he listened to me and he got close. He got extremely close to the fireworks. And then they started doing the finale and he was like right in the midst of the fireworks. He probably almost killed the drone. He managed to escape. I'm sorry, Kyle, for putting your drone in danger. It's kind of like a new tripod thing. I dig it. Something tells me that you got the... Memo. Booyah! As you can probably remember, I asked you guys to send... I asked you to send license plates. And I have received quite a few. Saying that, let's get into this. Let's start decorating this wall, shall we? Hello 3D Machines, my name is Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Mo Stunts. Ryan, Ty, Alexis, Ashley, and Garen. That's one way to send it. I've heard of dogs eating homework, but not license plates. Okay, yep, I ate the homework too. Thank you, Connor, and your dog, or whatever got a hold of this thing. Thank you, Grant. Brad, only person I have seen shoot trap with a bold ash and shotgun. Keep up the good work. Nate D. Thank you, Nate. We gotta keep it original somehow. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, Arthur. Ryan, this is a kneeling cushion. It's not a license plate, but thank you. Mark, thank you, Cole. This one came off of the Kodiak after I registered it for the one day I had it before it went up to auction. Brand new. Thank you, Ethan. Respectively, I'm not going to eat your donut. Travel man, somebody's missing the Honda. Thank you, Kobe. Some of you included your sticker orders in the mail. I will get those to you, but thanks for all the license plates. Thanks, Nathan. You have sent me so many license plates, I actually had to buy a whole thing of screws just to hang these things. Thank you, I appreciate that. some body work. Thank you for the license plates everybody. I don't believe I need any more license plates because I'm sure there are a couple in the mail. So thank you. Today here in New York State the weather is absolutely garbage. I'm waiting on parts for just about everything. Saying that I'm gonna get into a little bit of a trend here. Fidget spinners. I went out shopping to possibly buy some. Excuse me do you have any of those fidget spinners? No we don't. You're all out? Well, we ordered a, a third shipment last week, Friday. Keep asking. All uh, right, thank you. After failing to find fidget spinners in my local area, granted it's a small town. Do you guys sell fidget spinners? No. I, I've just decided to make my own. Let's learn something. This is a bear. That's all a fidget spinner really is. Let's get scientific. So I'm thinking something like this, but I want it to spin extremely fast. And instead of my fingers trying to spin this thing super, super fast, I have a machine instead. It's called a grinder. This thing should work mighty fine. I want to use six nuts, and I want them evenly spaced because I want this thing to spin super fast. I mean, the fidget spinners are the coolest thing since the internet. Well, not really, but it's, it's the new thing. I'm hip. Let's make it happen. 
Now, I don't know about your math teacher or your previous math teacher, but for some reason, my math teacher always liked to talk about pi. Not this kind of pi. Actually, that, that was the pi. Um, my math class was always right before lunch. This kind of pi. That, that's the kind of pi we're gonna be using today. So to make sure that this thing's gonna spin extremely fast, we have to space these things evenly, saying that we have to know pi. Pi is 3.15179? 3.14, and so that's all you have to know. If you know more significant figures, good for you. This bearing has a diameter of one and three eighths. Circumference is pi d, I believe. I really need to start carrying some paper. Now I have to find the decimal of three eighths, so I do three divided by eight. Math, 0.375. That's the overall diameter times pi, 1.375 times 3.1415. So the overall circumference is 4.319 inches. Say I was an extremely small hamster and I was on this thing. If I wanted to, if I wanted to walk across this entire bearing, it would be 4.319 inches. Now that I have six nuts, four nuts. We're, we're gonna still do the six, I'm, I'm sure I can find them. I'm going to divide that 4.3 by six, and we have, that gives us 0.72. So that gives us 0.72, that's a little under three quarters of an inch. So now I'm going to measure out a piece of cable. I did the difficult part already, I did all the math. Now I'm going to use this piece of wire, measure out exactly 0.72, and cut it at that length. Now that I have this tiny piece of, you probably can't even see it, I'm going to take our bearing, and for every 0.72 inches, I'm going to make a mark, which will then line up these nuts. And just like that, I have my future fidget spinner all lined up. Now all I have to do is find the middle of each nut. These nuts have six sides. I'm going to find the middle of one of the sides, make a mark, and then those marks will correspond with these marks and provide us with a very, very scientific thing. And it'll make it spin very fast. Something like that. This is when things start getting fun and hot. Basically what I have right here is a homemade welding jig and I'll be able to weld it right on here. I'm going to line up all my marks I've made to the best of my ability and weld these together. Now I make videos every day and I get questions all the time on my education and stuff like that. I ended up graduating with two degrees, I have two associates. I'm not bragging at all. I have an associates in welding and I have an associates in math and science. So without burning any fingers, let's get to it. Otherwise, I'm going to damage the bearing. Not gonna lie, I wish I had a fidget spinner to spin right about now. Could really kill the time quickly. This will be my first ever fidget spinner. It's slightly more expensive than your average fidget spinner. Here's the final product. Without any further hesitation, let's just lock this thing down to the vise, take the grinder to it, get it up to speed. It's about to get extremely fidgety. I don't really want this thing going through my eyeball. That should be good. Kids, don't try this at home. This is very stupid. It appears that I over fidgeted. What do I mean by that? It doesn't have that same spin that it had. It's not really a fidget spinner, it can't really move. But look at the chunks that I started taking out of this thing. You would think that this is a grinder or something. So I, I don't really think it's a fidget spinner anymore. I'd call it more of a paperweight, really. I think, I think the grinder was just too hard on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If anybody wants this thing, leave a comment in the comment section below. Telling me why you want this. 
I'll pick a random winner. Don't forget to smash the like button. I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, creativity, I guess, for the day. It's, it's really crappy outside. We're waiting on parts. I wanted to make some content for you. This is what happened. This is the new trendy thing. This is the bee's knees. This is the cat's meow. Doesn't get any better than this. Enjoy your day until tomorrow. 3D Machine's out. Go fidget spin it. It's, it's a blast. Yeah.